Lakes, Lakes, New Jersey. Please rock. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall the saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trample others who will see. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. <coughs> Second Corinthians 10, verses 17 through 18. Let the one who boasts boast in the Lord, for it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. Second Timothy, chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Continue the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scripture which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for direction, for instruction, and in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly filled with the Lord. My dear brother in Christ, the Lord grant that you receive and keep these words in your heart, so that you may be strengthened and encouraged in your labors. God gathers his church by and around his holy gospel, and thereby also grants a growth and increase according to his good pleasure. That this may be done, he has established the office of the holy ministry into which you have been called by the church. And have been ordained and consecrated by prayer and the laying on of hands. It is fitting that you should again acknowledge the responsibilities of this holy office in which you are to serve as the pastor of this congregation. In the presence of this congregation and before our Lord God to whom you must give an account now and at the last day, I now ask you, to acknowledge that the Lord has called you through his church into the ministry of word and sacrament. I do. Do you believe and confess the canonical books of Old and New Testaments to be the inspired word of God and the only infallible rule of faith and practice? Yes, I believe and confess the canonical scriptures to be the inspired word of God and the only infallible rule of faith and practice. Do you believe and confess the three ecumenical creeds, namely the Apostles, the Nicene, and an Athanasian Creed, as faithful testimonies to the truth of the Holy Scriptures? And do you reject all the errors which they condemn? Yes, I believe and confess the three ecumenical creeds, because they are in accord with the Word of God. They also reject all the errors they condemn. You confess the unaltered Augsburg Confession to be the true exposition of Holy Scripture and a correct exhibition of the doctrine of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. And do you confess that the apology of the Augsburg Confession, the small and large catechisms of Martin Luther, the small called articles, the treatise on the power and the primacy of the Pope, and the formula of Concord, as these are contained in the Book of Concord, are also in agreement with this one scriptural faith. Yes, I make these confessions my own because they are in accord with the Word of God. We promise that you will perform the duties of your office in accordance with these confessions, and that all your preaching and teaching and your administration of the sacraments will be in conformity with Holy Scripture and these confessions. Yes, I promise with the help of God. Will you faithfully instruct both young and old in the chief articles of Christian doctrine? Will you forgive the sins of those who repent? And you will promise never to divulge the sins confessed to you. Will you minister faithfully to the sick and the dying? Or will you demonstrate to the church a constant and ready ministry centered in the gospel? To admonish and encourage the people to 
to a lively confidence in Christ and a holy living. Yes, I will, with the help of God. Finally, will you honor and adorn the office of the holy ministry with a holy life? Will you be diligent in the study of holy scripture and the confessions? And you will you be constant in prayer for those under your pastoral care? I will, the Lord help me through the power and the grace of his Holy Spirit. Beloved in the Lord, Holy Scripture says, Obey your leaders and submit to their authority. They keep watch over you as men who must give an account. Obey them, so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no advantage to you. You have heard the solemn promise of him, Paul, to be your pastor. Will you now receive him? Show him that love, honor, and obedience in the Lord that you owe to the shepherd and teacher placed over you by your Lord Jesus Christ. And will you support him by your gifts and pray and pray for him always that in his labors he may retain a cheerful spirit and that his ministry among you may be abundantly blessed. If so, then answer. We will with the help of God. We will with the help of God. We honor and uphold your pastor, and he serves Christ in all his God pleasing responsibilities. Will you aid him as he cares for his family? Will you be diligent to put the best construction on everything, recognizing that love covers a multitude of sins? If so, congregation, then answer. We will with the help of God. We will with the help of God. The Almighty, the most merciful God, strengthen and assist you always. Are you willing and ready to assume this public trust and responsibility? I oh, am. Yeah. Eric, Arthur, Rieger, I install you as pastor of St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Incarnation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do as well, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray. Merciful God and Father, you have graciously promised that through the preaching of the crucified Christ, those who believe in him will be saved. By your Holy Spirit, grant grace to Eric, whom you have given to be pastor of this congregation. Grant him readiness and steadfastness in this ministry, patience, understanding, and great zeal. Support and strengthen him in your service, that by your word your church may be built and increased. Through your Son, our great High Priest, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have established your church to be temple and dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks that you continue to provide shepherds to feed and serve your flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made them overseers. We humbly implore you ever to strengthen the labors of your ministers, that through their ministry of word and sacrament, your people may increase in your knowledge and service, and grow up into him who is the head, even Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be all glory now and forevermore. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, our Heavenly Father, guide and bless your servant, Eric, sent forth to be a witness to Pompton Lakes. Graciously look with favor upon him for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grant him confidence and great boldness, uphold and sustain him in hardship, and grant him faithfulness in all his labors, so that through the speaking of your word, that nations may come to worship before your throne in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Son and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you always. Amen. Please rise.
Oktoberfest last year, and that was great, and the picnic, that was great too. And we look forward to, we won't be here every Sunday because it's a long ride on the train. <laughs> but anyhow, it's really wonderful to be in so big a family. I want lots of sons. The Lord blessed me with two. And I'll tell you, that was enough. <laughs> so, uh, let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us throughout our lives. We thank you for the gift of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for his love towards all of us. We thank you also for this food which we are about to receive, and we join together in our fatal prayer. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let thy gifts to us be blessed. Amen.